All right, the third InDesign lesson is about using frames, uh, building frames and then filling them with images, but uh, you can't, uh, you don't have InDesign on your Chromebook, so we're going to do this once again on Canva.com. I'm already there right now, and I'll show you how we're going to do this today. We're going to go over here to the top right-hand side. I'm already logged in, so you'll have to make sure you log in at Canva.com. And I'm going up here to create a design. I'm just going to use a flyer once again. That's kind of what I'm using for most of these assignments. And here is my blank page. All right. Now, at school, when in uh, InDesign, we're creating eight frames. All right. So let's check this out. Go over to the left-hand side to Elements. And look, there's a section for frames right here. And so let's click See All so we can see all of the different kinds of frames. And there's lots of them. Now you could run into some that don't work because they're part of a premium account. But most of these are going to work. They say free when you hover over them. Look, some of them are even shaped like letters. All right. So um, what, what I'm requiring of you today is that you pop eight frames onto this page. And then you're also going to have to fill them with images, which I'll get to in a minute. So let's, let's just kind of pick out some frames. All right, so I clicked on that one right there and go ahead and size it a little bit and kind of, you know, tuck it up in a spot that you like and let's pick another one and I, you know, gosh, pick the eight that you like. I'm going to hurry along and this one looks like a computer monitor. That's kind of fun. I'm going to pop that on there. I'll do this rounded rectangle that has a stroke on it. Pop that on there. There we go. There's some that look like uh, kind of like paint swatches paint swashes that have been painted on with a brush. Those are kind of fun. So I'm going to pop one of those on there. What else do we have? Here's one that's, that is that uh, looks like a cell phone, right? And you might notice, I'm going to pop that in here. Um, I, I started to say something else, but I don't remember. Uh, ooh, Superman. That's all, it's a diamond, really, but it's kind of like a, a Superman symbol on Superman's suit right what else shall we grab let's get a letter let's get a letter of the alphabet i'll just do an a all right fabulous eight different frames right so that that's the first step is go uh, get yourself a new uh publication started i did a flyer go to elements go to frames and drag yourself out eight different frames. Now, <clears throat> time to fill them with photos. Well, that's pretty easy. If we go over here to photos, you can use photos that just come from uh, the collection that's with Canva. If you click on photos, that's totally fine. You could do it that way. Um, with And, and here, here's an example. Like if I said I wanted to fill these all with Christmas things. All right, so I go looking around here and I'm looking at all the Christmas stuff. I see some Christmas cookies here. So here's how you do it. You just kind of drag it and drop it right on the frame and look, there it is. All right, there it is. Uh, the picture is in the frame. It's, you know, shaped like the frame. And now here's a, here's a trick. If you double click on it, uh, you can move that picture around. See that? You can kind of re position it a little bit if you want to and up here it says done if you get done so you can just click that uh, so if it doesn't like frame up exactly the way you wanted you can double click and do some adjusting and then you can click done and you've got it so like if I wanted to you just drag it over and drop it and maybe I'll double click on that one and move those those gold Christmas bulbs over a little bit more kind of like that there we go uh, what else? Well, I, I'm using a bunch of Christmas pictures, right? Uh, here's, uh, let's bring this Christmas tree over and go boink like that. And it looks like the Christmas tree. Again, double click if you want to get in there and be able to like size the photo or move it around and things like that. All right. Yay. Got that. So you get the idea. Now you could also, if you have saved a picture yourself, you could go to uploads and here over here you'll see pictures that at one time or another I have I have uh, uh, you know pulled in to Canva for one reason or another and but but if you have <coughs> sorry if you have pictures that you have saved on your Google Drive or whatever you could go to uploads and go to upload media 
and then connect to your Google Drive or just like um, off of your if you're not working on your Google excuse me if you're not working on your Google Drive you could just upload from your computer all kinds of possibilities there all right I'm gonna cancel that and I'm just gonna go back to photos here is my Christmas thing still showing yes it is so I'm just gonna finish these out with Christmas pictures very quickly I want to drop that I didn't get that dropped where I wanted it uh, I'm gonna put that on there uh, I'm gonna put this reindeer on that paint swatchy thing and I'm gonna double click that one to pull the I want the reindeer there we go I want it like that um, I'm going to put this Christmas lantern oh not in the background I want it in there but it's not showing the way I want so uh, I'm going to ooh, I can't quite get that one in there the way I like it so I'm going to say control Z undo there I don't like I don't like the way that turned out so there so I'll put a snowflake in it there I like that better oh what else we got let's put oh let's put these in here gonna no not in there in there I want to drop those in that letter a right there and one more to go I'll drop this on the into the telephone All right, uh, you know what? That's really kind of it. There we go. I've got. I wish I could stroke that, I, and I haven't. Maybe you'll figure out how. I, I, I'd like to put a stroke around that letter A. I think that would look a lot better if I could. Uh, I don't see a way to do it just yet, but if you figure it out, go for it. All right, so here it is. It's eight frames filled with pictures, and that's this is pretty much what we're doing at school with InDesign. You know, a little bit different. Uh, all right, so up here where it says Untitled Design, I'm just going to call this Frames. Bingo. I'm going to download it, and a PDF would be fine. A PNG would be fine. A JPEG would be fine. You know what? You could do a background if you wanted to. Bow. There, I just put a background on it. Look at me go. Uh, so now I will download that, whatever, a PDF, a, PN, a JPEG, a PNG, all of those are going to be okay. Any of these up at the top. An SVG, probably not. An MP4 video, no need for that. A GIF, no, no, no need for that. So PNG, JPEG, PDF, all those are okay. I'll just do a PDF. Download that. And again, remember, if you're doing it on your Chromebook, that's going to download straight onto your Google Drive. And then you can hop over to um, Google Classroom and just go ahead and use the InDesign number three assignment and turn in your, your file on that assignment. I know you're not doing this assignment with InDesign like we are at school, but you can still turn it in there. It's totally fine for you to do that. All right, so uh, yay, your turn, let's go.